Hi singers, I'm Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, here with you for another episode of Quick Singing Tips. Today I'm joining you from Charging Bull. This popular 7,000 pound statue was built in 1987 as a symbol of strength, prosperity, and hope. Which leads us to our question for today from Mackenzie N. in Jefferson City, Missouri. Mackenzie writes, Dear Justin, my choir teacher says I have potential, but some kids at school say I'm a bad singer. Should I just give up? Well, Mackenzie, with all due respect, that's a bunch of bull loney. You shouldn't listen to those kids. Mackenzie, I want you to put your head down and become Fearless Girl. Fearless Girl is not just someone with big dreams. Fearless Girl is someone who don't take no bull from nobody. Here are five fearless ways to take the bull by the horns and become fearless girl. First, take no bull from your critics. Doesn't matter what you do in life, always be haters. In fact, sometimes, Mackenzie, it's just when you're on the right track that more haters will appear. Keep in mind that others might be jealous of what you're doing. They might wish they were brave enough to do what you're doing or they might have insecurities of their own that they're taking out on you. In any case, with haters, the problem is not with you, it's with them. Next, take no bull from your family and friends. Sometimes friends and family can be our harshest critics. They might mean well, but their critical words really hurt. If your loved ones don't realize how much your singing means to you, it's time to sit them down. Have a serious talk. Let them know how you feel and what your singing means to you. Remember that to love you is to love your voice, even if it's not perfect. Next, take no bull from social media. Social media is full of all kinds of cock and bull stories. It's very easy to go on social media and get really depressed fast. Everybody seems to be living a perfect life and fulfilling their dreams without any struggles. Don't believe the lies. The people who look like they have it easy face the same challenges that you and I face. Next, take no bull from your voice teachers. Voice teachers should be the greatest encouragement on your vocal journey, but sometimes voice teachers are negative, egotistical, or emotionally abusive. If that's the case, I'm sorry, but it's time for you to find another teacher. You know you found the right voice teacher when your teacher inspires you and is passionate about your success, your well-being, and your happiness. Finally, take no bull from yourself. Most importantly, Mackenzie, I think we've got to learn to not take any bull from ourselves. There's always going to be naysayers, ne'er-do-wells, no good nicks, and negative Nellies. But we got to take the plank out of our own eye if we're going to hit the bullseye. So what are we saying to ourselves? Are we constantly saying, my voice is bad, I can't sing, I'm nothing special? Or are we saying, my voice is beautiful, I love my voice, I'll sing with joy every day. It's a choice that we make. It's a choice to be fearless, girl. And I know you'll choose the right thing and charge right ahead, Mackenzie. Here's some other ways that you and I can charge ahead on the vocal journey. For voice lessons or Skype lessons with the NYVC staff, visit us at NewYorkVocalCoaching.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do at home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World Vocal Course. This 12-part program takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. You can find it at VoiceLessonsToTheWorld.com. Or if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at DailyVocalTips.com. And now, here's Justin with this week's vocal benediction. Our God-given right to sing is as precious as fine china. So we're not gonna let negativity run amok like a bull in a china shop, no, no way. We're not giving up, Mackenzie. We're gonna put our heads down and snarl. We're gonna sing.